afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this lovely afternoon of Gilman Soccer. My name is David Netzer, and I'm joined by Bennett Espenshade. We are here today to watch the Gilman Greyhounds take on the Mount St. Joseph Gales. It's been a tough season for both teams as Gilman comes in 0-5-4 in conference play, while MSJ is 0-5-2. Because they are sit at the bottom of the table, this is a game with playoff implications. So definitely make sure you're locked in for this game. Bennett, anything you want to add? Yeah, Dave, definitely a big one um, with both teams looking to get their first in-conference win. I think the Hounds really need this one if they're going to go on that magical run we were talking about earlier and, and sneak their way into the playoffs. Just 30 seconds left before the game starts. The Gales are prepared. Yeah, if you see George Guyton, number zero, heading to the back absolute mammoth of a human. In front of him will be Brooks Kitchell and Caleb Lawson and on the sides uh, Marshall Smith and I believe Grayson Capadano or Michael Maloney. Those two interchange a little bit. Um, up top looks like we have Chris Mitchell, uh, one of the Broadbent brothers in midfield. Um, Mihaljevic out on the left side. Should be should be a good game. Absolutely, Bennett. I, I cannot wait, if I'm being honest. And the clock is set. It looks like we're ready to go here. So Gilman sticking with this unique formation they've been in this year. It's uh, my soccer knowledge isn't too deep. I believe it's called a diamond, four four two diamond, Dave. And uh, talking to the guys earlier as they're off here, um, their issue is those top two guys uh, can get a little bit out wide and leave a hole in the middle. Um, so we'll see how that goes today. As MSJ pushed the ball up the field early. Oh, MSJ with an oh, early opportunity. Oh, wow, that and was. Number that was some sketchy defending, Dave. I'm not going to lie. It's not what you want to see to start the game, especially if you're Guyton. So number 28, Emmanuel Duodu, the uh, freshman with a kick just over the top of the goal. But Guyton will set up for the kick. That was, that was scruffy. Yeah, yeah, no. A little rough start, but Pretty these guys will get it under field. control. Gales okay, try to clear Picked Capadano. Up by Capadano. Pushes it out wide. Tries to play the through ball, but it's intercepted. Sent over the top. Kitchell with the header. Maloney cleans it up. Maloney playing through injury with that big cast on his left arm. Yeah, shouldn't, it shouldn't affect him. him too much. Here comes number two, Luke Coran, the sophomore. Throw it in. Pass back to him. Broadbent getting stuck in. Oh, he's offside. Yeah, he's got to wait and time his run better there. He was, he was through. Unfortunate call for the Hounds. Give the ball back up to the Gales. You know, some, sometimes you scream, referee, you're wrong, but there's there's no uh, there's no fighting that one. Yeah, certainly no argument from um, from either side there. Here comes captain, number six, Lorenzo Cruz, to kick. On oh, a big boot, Guyton should be should be on that one. And he does, he does grab it. So Guyton gets the call for a big one. And I guess that means he's just gonna kick it as far as he can. And that he does. Ooh. Little Meg there. Little nutmeg. He's trying to push it into the corner. And the cross is deflected, stays in bounds, picked up by Capadano. Still bouncing around in the area. Still not clear. And cleared away by MSJ. Marshall Smith tracking back. Marshall, great guy. In my Absolutely Spanish class. Great kid. Second straight year in my Spanish class. And great kid. Never, kid never is, met kid anyone kinder. Hounds reach the ball session. over the top and just a little too far. So the keeper tosses it over. Gales down the opposite sideline and goes through to Guyton. Yeah, number 13, Bashir Abu, has had a, a quick start to this game and we'll probably be seeing a lot more of him, number 13. Unfortunate bounce there gives the Gales possession here. There goes number oh. 10, Jack Geist. And he trips over the ball. Back out to Mihailovic on the outside. 
cuts back. Capitano get rid of it. Back. Ball back picked to Smith. Up by Smith. And picked off in the middle of the field. Gilman gets it back. Nice, nice one, two. Mihailovic tries to play it through. And it's deflected out of play for a Gilman throw. Capadano heads over to the sideline to throw it in. Oh, turns back around. Marshall Smith with the long throw. Boy, he can whip that thing. Darn right he can. Smith heading Gilman, up the line. Gilman putting everyone in the box, trying to create a, a scrum and maybe, uh, maybe flick one in. Sent to the front post. Bashir back out to Marshall with the cross. Mihailovic gets his head on it. Needed a few more inches there. Cross back in and deflected it away. You know, maybe Jacob Yibis could have gotten that one if he had been in. And Kitchell with the strike. Ooh. And it's wide. Kitchell, the defender, playing up just barely puts it wide. Good contact on that one. You know, Dave, I would have gone crazy if that one had gone top pins. Uh, I mean, that would have been a beauty. Just a beauty. Interesting strategy, not having their goalkeeper take the goal kick. It shows like a, a lack of confidence, if I'm being honest. I, I agree. I've, I've seen that in my youth soccer days, and the goalie just doesn't have the legs sometimes. No, no, no I know what you mean. You know, back in my day, I was a, a striker, though I, I haven't played in think 10 years. Yeah, I was going to say, are you a, a U8 demon? Because I don't remember you playing soccer. Uh, it's been a long, long time. But ball goes out for the Hounds. Capadano to Broadbent. Ooh. Ooh Broadbent makes a move, but can't hold possession. Picked up by Chris Mitchell. Passed out passed out wide to the left. Marshall Smith crosses oh. it in. Back towards the, Capadano. I want to see the ball get back to a header. Brooks. I mean, oh. I want to see another kick from him. That was a, I re I that really was a do. rocket. I really do. The 1-2 with Capadano. And it's deflected out for a Gilman corner. So it's going to be Mihailovic with his left foot hit an in swinger here. Hopefully, someone can get ahead on it. This would be a great time for Jacob Yevis, you know. Um, yeah, seriously. Fan favorite Jacob Yevis. Fan favorite Jacob Yevis. Great guy. Even better header of the soccer ball. Absolutely. It's whipped in by Mihailovic. And, that and ball it's is touched into in the goal. by Brooks Kitchell. We said we wanted to see him on the ball again, and here we are. Goal for Brooks Kitchell. What a beauty. Two sport demon right there, showing what he could do on the soccer field. Yep, that's Brooks is committed uh, for Bowdoin College to play lacrosse, but Showing he do in the uh, fall season too. So quick start for the Hounds as as Kitchell high fives uh, Ryan Patel as well as manager Devjeet Saluja on his way back towards Guyton's goal. Great start. It's the Gales back at it. Kitchell yet again. Brooks getting active early. He really is. He's a crucial player to this squad. Capitano out wide. That guy, um, Grace is Ooh. fast. Wow, he's That's fast. Steve. He's shifty. Sends it through the middle, oh, but broad bends offside. Unfortunate. Just a couple of feet. Clean through. Gotta we'd like, we'd we'd like to see time. you know the VAR there, if I'm being honest. You know, you know, Dave, VAR doesn't work all the time, as we saw last weekend in the Liverpool game. Take your word. I'm, I'm all Barca. That's all I watch. Uh, Messi and all that. Yeah, he doesn't play there anymore, nah, Dave. No, Get with the sad. news. It's sad. Too much UFC for you. As that one's lifted towards Guyton, you should really... Be a little bit more confident coming out, coming out and claiming that one, but he'll get away with it. I trust George's judgment there. I always trust George's judgment. Oh, sounds like a a car just crashed. That's that's not what you want to see. Wow. Um, wow. So. Um, well, anyway, a little bit of a distraction uh, for us, yeah. but not the players. George as, as boots it down. It away. Wow. Might, might, might want to go check on that. It happened. Oh yeah. I, Maybe we'll have our lovely cameraman, Ben Gilner, 
pick up that camera and, and uh, slide it down to you guys later. He's played up, sent in the corner for Capadano to chase, looking across and deflect it out for another corner. We'll see if they can go two for two and convert yet again. Kitchell coming up. You know, I really like aiming for him. Big body. Very physical. Should be looking to get on the end of this one. So, yeah, Brooks near that back post where he was last time. Yeah, Guyton looking a little distracted, looking behind him to see what's going on with the cars, but I don't blame him. A lot of honking going on. Yeah, looks like these guys are not. Heilovich whips it in, and it's headed away. Another uh, corner granted. Looks like another corner. Yep, hit the, hit the uh, flag. Corner flag and flecked it out. He's going to need a little bit more height on this one to get it past the first man. So, Mihalovic, once again, Both Kitchell being stuff. guarded pretty pretty there closely. More height. Oh, just not there. And Lawson back in, but too far. Oh, and it goes out for a goal kick. Unfortunate. Good start for the Hounds as we uh, as we near the first ten, the end of the first ten minutes of the game. Dave, what are your what are your big takeaways so far? Um, I'm seeing Gilman's really pushing the pace here. They're getting aggressive, sometimes a little too aggressive. We've seen two offsides now, but but I like that. You know, kind of establish their dominance, get really active here, and and MSJ kind of giving back that energy, but you know having some trouble, you know retaining possession and, and keeping control of the ball. And like I said, you know, on that Agreed. goalie kick, Grayson and just you see, it. And you see Cavadano immediately try and push it up the field as Kitchell clears it away. Ball bounces around in the air and finally comes down for Mitchell. Kitchell wins that battle and sends it outside. Marshall Smith with some room to run. Tries to send it in to Mihailovic, but it's kicked away. And MSJ with the long ball of their own into the corner. There looks goes. Like, looks like Kitchell's going to have that one covered. And Aiden Cummings shields it out of it. play. Well Ooh. done by Brooks Kitchell. Great start to the game for him. Yeah, no, he's having a game. You know, this is the problem with the, the stat sheet. You don't see things like that. You don't. Guy unsung, just unsung hero. Absolutely. But you will see that goal in the stat sheet. So, oh, absolutely. You know. You'll see it for years to come. That ball up to Grayson. Headed down. Covered by Maloney. Intercepted by Broadbent. Unable I believe to that's, I believe that was a Broadbent to Broadbent connection there. Sends it to Bashir. Tries the cheeky one too, but it's picked away. You know, sometimes I wonder, like, what if I hadn't quit soccer? You know, I feel like I could be pretty good at this. You know, Dave, I think you'd be sitting right next to Dev Sheet's Solution and Cal Sofer. You might be right. But, you know, I can think about it. A man can dream. Absolutely. Capadano to throw in. Ref tells him to, to go back. Ooh. Come on, Grayson. He went way back. He's not messing around. No, he is not. You know, we've had some, some questionable referees uh, earlier this year. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out especially referencing the McDonough game with the late penalty given to McDonough. I think it's time we get those newfangled technology they have in, like, the Prem. The yeah, you know, Dave, you know. I just don't know if, if Gilman School has the budget for that. I think it's an MIAA thing, honestly. Yeah, I think it could be an MIAA thing. They get thing. their money up if they can't afford <laughs> that. Well, purple bouncy ball almost got on the field there. Yeah, I got to watch out for that. Here goes number 10, Jack Geist, the senior. Throw it in. Looking for a long throw. Lots of guys in the box. Throws it in there. It's flicked on. Clear to the edge of the box. Gets it out. Not away fully in the shot. Ooh. Almost. He gets Recovers. Well it. done there. Coming through traffic. Didn't see the ball until late. Had a little bit of movement on it. That's his first save of the game, I believe. As he, it's a big one. It's going to run all the way through to the Mount St. Joe keeper. Too big. Too big. Got to tone it down. Yeah. Looks like we got Nadum Ebo warming up on the sidelines. Ball to Luke Coran, number two, junior. And out of bounds. So, 
You know, it'll be interesting to see when Gilman uh, makes some substitutions. Yeah, it's a, it's a hot day out here. It's oh, 82 degrees, I say that. sunny, and, and we make a substitution. That is number 16, Grayson Greenlee, the sophomore midfielder. Uh, he comes in for number 12, Sean Broadbent. Brought down by Capadano to Broadbent. He's overtaken. Oh, recovers Robin nicely with a turn. Back. Sent over the shoulder of Capadano and out of bounds. So, Gales with the ball back. Looking for something and lose it quickly. Capadano to Broadbent, who switches the play nicely to Lawson, who's got Smith on his left. First touch for Greenlee. Gives it to Mihailovic, makes the turn. Tries to send it down in the corner and it's shielded out of play for an MSJ goal kick. So not so much action last couple of minutes. Kind of seen these teams drawing for that edge. Yeah, no one's really established dom dominance. Um, Gilman obviously with the early goal off the corner kick, but no uh, no clear favorite in terms of possession. That ball's booted down. Kitchell deflected. Deflected once deflected again. Deflected and collected by Guyton easily. That was a good line. Deflected and collected. Perhaps a future in music for you or poetry? You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and say probably not. Oh. As Bashir brings it down in the box, but that's going to run out of play. You know, you could ask my former English teachers about that one. I don't think they, they would agree with the poetry. You know, Bennett, we had English together last year, and um, I thought you were we did. quite the... Uh, Quite the author, if I'm being honest. I think you're being a little too harsh on yourself. I think I think you're speaking too highly of me. I don't remember myself being an, an all-world author. So out goes Bashir. Marshall Smith, again with a long throw. Let's see if he may be looking for Mihailovic to flick it on into the middle. Get some chaos going in there. It's headed away, back right back to Marshall, who's going to let it run out and try it again. So Marshall Smith on try number two. Mitchell running around looking for something, can't quite get it. Yeah, this may be a little bit out of Smith's range here. But oh, I was wrong. Anyway, oh, throw and flicked on and collected by the goalkeeper. Looks like he's calling for a foul. I don't know, I'm not, not, not sure there. what that was, but you know, each referee has their own opinion. So Gales with the goal kick. 15 minutes down now. That one just let it bounce. Collected by MSJ. That's uh, 28, Emmanuel Duodu. And, and the foul by Broadbent. So MSJ, they could potentially whip this one into the box. I'm not sure where the sun is, but that could be a factor for Guyton. It, def it, it seems like it will be. The trees are coming from behind where we are, so from behind the yeah, viewers by, as well. Yeah, by that, by that, Matt. This, yeah, and his, this hand, could be an issue. his hand is yeah, held up. Yeah, you see him so. shielding it. This could be interesting. And the number two out left, Capadano's got to watch that. They're just going to send it. It's low, and it's flicked on and just wide. Wow. Not sure if that was an MSJ touch or a Gilman touch, but that was that was close to going in Guyton's goal. Wow, so Gilman gets a lucky break there. A little scary there. That was not super well defended, but my heart fluttered a little bit. I'll yeah. be honest. Number three, Chris Mitchell coming off. I believe that's Broadbent back in as he goes up top. So another boot from Guyton, just over that Imalovic, but Gilman gets Picked possession up. back quickly. Sent to Maloney, might he sends it down the line. Ooh. Close, but no cigar as it's out for another Gilman throw. It's Capadano for the throw. Maloney comes out. In goes Owen Mattini. Mattini. I'm sorry, excuse me, that's not was, Owen Mattini. That's, I was going to say, I didn't that's see a different, coming on there. It's uh, Mattini's 24 with a shaved head. This is 26 with a shaved head. That's mm -hmm. Lucas Kelly. Come on, Dave, you got to be better than that. That's on me. It's crossed in, headed away by MSJ, picked up by Broadbent. Makes the cut. 
turns and a shot. Oh! oh! Goal! What a strike from. Oh my goodness. Marko Mihalovic. From. Way, that was not Mihailovic. Was that not Mihailovic? That was not Mihailovic. That was a right footed strike from way outside of the box. That flew into Who the top corner. Wow. I believe that was Broadbent. I'm not quite sure. Might have to watch it back. Wow. That, that was Colin Broadbent. I what believe. a strike. Oh, wow. That was dirty. <laughs> wow. That gets you going, Dave. Oh, wow. That gets me riled up. Riled up. I hope for the viewers at home, it gets you riled up, too. I mean, how can you not love Greyhound soccer? I'm very excited to watch that back. Wow, yeah. Picked up my Mihailovic. If Gilman can get a, a third before half, they could really kind of put this game to rest. Absolutely. You just switch back, be very cautious. Yeah, force force MSJ to, to push and capitalize on their mistakes. So nearing the 20 minute mark, just under halfway done here in the first half on Chan Lee. Good showing from Gilman so far. They've, they've cleaned up the defensive mistakes since the free kick. And sent well out of play by MSJ. Not sure who he was looking at there. Maybe a parent in the crowd. Headed away. See, we see Marshall. Yeah, and Marshall Smith is coming over from the other side to take the long throw in. So Smith comes back down again for the throw and quickly finds Malovich. Malovich turns and crosses towards the back post, He's looking for Grayson Greenlee, but the ball goes out of play. Subs made for MSJ. That's number four, Cameron Madison, the sophomore. And uh, I didn't quite catch who the other one. I think that was 15. That's um, it was not 15. Excuse me. No, it is 15. He's not on the roster. There you oh, go, nice. Dave. Look at that. Did you see that? I don't see a 15. Joe's 14, 16. So perhaps a new addition. Broadbent quickly claims it. Mahalovic. Headed up the right side. Just out of bounds. Looks like Colin Kenny there, number 19. He is in my advisory. He is a great kid. Freshman. Great addition to the advisory squad. Shout out, Mr. Hastings. Just love to hear it. Good guy on the field. Good guy off the field. Yeah. I mean, that's Jacob Davis in a sentence, though. Yeah. Hoping uh, Mr. Hastings' coaching adventures down at MSJ for the JV Gamer are going as well as they are here. Looks like there's an issue with the ref. Not sure what's going on here. A little bit, a little bit of confusion, maybe. Just uh, gonna talk it over quickly. Regardless, looks like, scales, looks like it's we'll gonna go be maybe in. a free kick. It will be free kick. Yeah. Potential foul called. Is it? Sir? Sent well down the field and deflected out of bounds for an MSJ throw. That was number 16, James Donahue, the uh, senior. And on the throw it is Madison, who was just subbed in. So Gilman grabs it back, looking to move it upfield, but unsuccessful for the moment. Ball bounced around. And moves into the Gale side of the field. Back to the Gillen side of the field. Ooh. Big side tackle. Crunching tackle there. Number eight on MSJ. A little slow to get up. Oh, and they're going to call a foul in the corner on the collection of Kitchell and Capadonna. This is a dangerous position with Guyton looking into the sun yet again. Mm -hmm. Gale's probably trying to create some confusion in the box just adds that effect of the, of the sun yeah watch watch for a runner coming short on the front post and try and flick it on they've got everyone back sent way outside and just kind of skewed away 
Capadano gets a little bit more of a foot on it. It's controlled and sent up, and it'll be out for a Gilman throw. So successful defense from the uh, Hounds there. You know, Dave, going back to that little car accident, I see a uh, what looks to be a, an insurance car or a flagger with uh, some lights flashing, so that's getting dealt with accordingly, in case those at home are wondering. It's good here. That's a very busy road. It is. They, uh, just had some uh, some repairs done at some Northern Parkway, for those of you wondering, by the way. Capadano with the throw. Just over Maloney's head, but it doesn't matter. Sent back down looking for Bashir yet again. Bashir fighting hard. Boxing out. Boxing out. Can't quite hold it. Shan control. The guy refuses to give up. Bashir cuts something. back into the box. And Chris Mitchell. Chris Mitchell with the shot. Little bit behind him. Good effort to get a foot on it, but right at the goalkeeper, and he makes the save. It's rolled out to the right side. Grayson Greenley pressing. Marshall Smith with the tackle. So Gales looking for something, passing it around. Trying to clear it. And the Hounds get a foot on it. So a throw in from number four, Madison. On comes number 29. That's Brendan Chairs, freshman. So a lot of freshmen on this team, to be honest. Yeah, young squad. Yeah, maybe a, perhaps a bright future for the Gales. Sent out for another Gilman throw. This one will be taken by Capadonna. This one is definitely out of... The, uh, the range of Smith. Grayson gets it into Bashir. Down to Bashir, pass to Chris Mitchell. Back to Capadano. Broad bent. Wouldn't, be, wouldn't hate him taking another crack at one. Capadano with the cross to the back post, looking for Greenlee in the header. It's down in the box and cleared away. Hounds still fighting for it. Greenlee, Greenlee oh. gets to it. Gets a nice move. He's got a little bit of space. Looking for somebody. Looking for something, maybe. Put his defender on the floor. He's Eesh. fighting to create space. Yep. And he will win a corner. That's well done by Greenlee over there. Make a little something out of nothing. Yep, absolutely. So now 15 minutes remaining in this first half. Give me Greenlee taking the corner. Hounds not getting too aggressive here. A couple of guys waiting around midfield. Yeah, no no reason to push everyone forward with a 2-0 uh, a lead. Sent into the box, looking for Kitchell again. It's cleared away. Broadbent gets ahead on it. So Smith, Smith to Greenlee. Back to Greenlee. Greenlee getting active here. Tries to put in the cross again, but it's tackled away. So the Gales looking to move oh, it to the A little scruffy side. passing there. Sent down the sideline, but it's out for a Gilman throw. Just brutal. 15 minutes left here in the first half. Really liking the way Gilman's moving the ball. They're, they're very much in possession and control. It's a big throw for Marshall Smith. Kitchell. Not Kitchell, excuse me, that's Broadbent. You know, the great thing about having uh, two Broadbents is that uh, I don't have to specify which one has the ball as it goes out for another Gilman corner on the far side. So Greenlee head to the corner to take another kick. Kitchell moves up. Big target they're looking for. Yeah, Tall guy, athletic, explosive. I mean, he's, he's who you want taking that, uh, that header. Yeah, I think Jacob Yavis might just be a little bit better, but uh, he's got the edge to each sure. their own. As it's sent in towards Kitchell yet again, headed by Bashir, and it's cleared away. Caleb Lawson back defending, and he gets it out to Marshall Smith. Well done there by Lawson. And Smith just clearing it up, doesn't want to make, make a bad mistake in the back half there. Very smart of him. As that's taken out of play for a Gilman throw, This he could get this one in the box depending on where they spot it. Ref is 
on the field looking for something. So on comes a few subs. Number 9 and 18 for the Gale. That's Sean Lyons and Oliver Jefferson. And on comes Mihalovic for the Hounds. Out comes, that is, that's Grayson Greenlee coming out. Yeah, good shift from Greenlee. Mm, absolutely. Not sure what the refs are discussing here, but they're going to tell Smith to wait on the throw. Looks like they're all set to go here yet again with just under 13 minutes on the clock. So Smith gets it in, looks for Chris Mitchell, but back out to Capadano. Chips it in. Of course, Bashir. And it's cleared away. Lawson to Smith. Smith with a little bit of space looking for a pass. Cleared away. Rod bent back in. Finds Bashir. That's taken away. And MSJ with the lip, maybe a chance to break here. And Lawson Miss control it up. and Lawson kicks it away. You know, I, I talked about it earlier and I think it's still true. MSJ just having a little bit of a hard time keeping control of the ball, moving it downfield. Ball's flagged out of play far side. You know, MSJ hasn't really seemed to to found their rhythm yet. Um, it's a little, still a little chaotic. Not a lot of uh, connected passes going on from them. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Can I agree more? So, Thank you, Dave. Gales. Looks like Colin Kenny getting again. ready to check in again. Freshman. Right to Maloney. Oh. oh, just under the foot of Maloney. It's an unfortunate moment there. And Kitchell running down. Kitchell and Capadano cleans up his mess. Ooh, Chris Mitchell. Crunching tackle on Chris Mitchell. Sent in the middle. Maloney trying to work his way out of trouble. Kitchell going around. Strong and wins the throw. Well done there. Another solid defensive play as Kenny comes in for what looks like will be Bashir. And Maloney comes out of the game. So Maloney comes out. In goes Lucas Kelly. Grayson with the throw. Not one by there. MSJ. There's Colin Kenny. Good pass to Lawson as he opens up the other side of the field. Lawson looking for the long ball. And he finds him. Broadbent with an opportunity. He goes for the cross. Oh. Taken by the the angle was just too tight. He needed to take that shot just a little bit earlier, but great ball from Lawson to find him and uh, another good, good shot from the Hounds. Coming down to the 10 minute mark here. Gale still looking to put their first goal up. And that kick might not help. Capadano heads it away. Broadbent kicks it up. There's finds Kelly. Kelly. Said well in the air, Capadano. And that's going to be an MSJ throw. Just under 10 minutes left. Uh, MSJ haven't really had a good opportunity since the free kick. It's sent in. Hits him in the back of the head. And Guyton oh, wow. makes the claim. Well done there, being very brave, diving on the ball. That's scary. Yeah, he's a brave soldier for sure. Brave soldier. You don't want to. You don't want to get cleated. That doesn't feel too good. As he boots it up the field, takes a big hop. Ben, you used to play soccer. You were a goalkeeper, if I'm correct. That, you know, were you aggressive like that? You know. You know, I I did my best. It's it's always hard to be aggressive in those situations. Um, you know, maybe that's one of the reasons I was a, a third stringer and didn't get much playing time. Um, but you just you just got to do your best. You gotta you gotta have your best judgment when you're out there. That's deflected away. You know, for me, the best part of soccer was the snacks. Big orange slices guy. Oh, my God. Capri yeah. Suns. Oh, Capri Suns. Stuff. Stuff. I like I liked the uh, the fruit snacks at the end, too. Those were, those were always appreciated. So the Gales make two substitutions. There goes Aiden Cummings and Emmanuel Duodu. Is 
the Gales throw it in. Smith heads it away. Take down by Kenny. Mihailovic opens it up to the other Kelly. Takes a shot, and it's caught easily by the goalkeeper. A little too far out for that one. Yeah, I'm trying to do his, uh, his best broadbent impression there. But uh, not quite. Just so doing kick skied. Capadano, Capadano heads it out. Well done there. Not taking any chances. There's some uh, little kids running onto the field to get their, their ball. Be an MSJ throw. They're going to look to send this one in towards the six yard box yet again. Guy even putting his hand up to protect against the sun. Sent in and headed off and out for an MSJ corner. Again, that sun is going to be an issue. And if they put this one inside the six, Guyton could have trouble claiming it. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to be aggressive and just trust his gut here, you know? Can't really see the ball, just kinda feel it out, kinda sense the vibes. So, the Gales, once again, here comes number 10, Jack Geist. Sent in and oh. caught by Guyton. Well done there. Well inside his own six. And it's rolled out to Chris Mitchell, who's got room to run. Mitchell with some serious speed. Looking oh, for something. He's showing looking the for pace. a break. Keeps moving it. And is it a little behind Kelly, but they'll take the foul. with It's good position, and that looks like it's going to be a yellow card the first of the game. It's thrilling. I, I it love will be. A, it will be a card. Maybe a bit of a tactical foul there, not wanting Gilman to get a third on the break. Can't, the clock can't, stops. can't say I blame him. I mean, Chris, oh, Chris Mitchell, Mitchell was he was ripping down what the sideline. What are you gonna do? I couldn't tell you, Dave. I don't have that type of pace. Nor do I. So Mihailovic and Capadano are kind of discussing what it looks like they're gonna do here. Might see Capadano run down towards the corner. That looks like they're gonna set up and give the possibility that both of them can take that. But it looks like it's going to be Mihailovic with his left foot to whip it in. Probably going to go towards the back post where Kitchell is. He's making a run towards the front post. And it's headed across across the face of the goal. And it's going to be out for a, an MSJ goal kick. So well defended by them there. On comes Nedum Ebo. Captain. Big man. Huge. Physical presence in the midfield. And, uh, Looks like he's going to take out uh, Chris Mitchell. Chris Mitchell giving it his hustle. Going to take a little break. Little little size Rap. addition there. I, I like it. Yeah, absolutely. Looking to sturdy up the midfield. Yeah. With Ebo. six minutes left in the first half. You know, at, at this point, Gilman's looking to you know maybe squeak another in, but really just not concede this late. As Ebo gets a ball, she ends a foul on MSJ. Broadbent picks that one up. He's been active today, Dave. Really, really liking what I'm seeing from him. Absolutely. Both both of the Broadbent brothers playing hard, getting to the ball quick. A welcome addition to the Gilman soccer team. As Lawson sends it out to Mihailovic, who's got room. Mihailovic. He cuts back. Ooh. Sends the cross to Ebo. Oh, oh and Ebo almost puts Ebo the with the corner. flick towards the bottom corner, but a good save by the keeper. There was a call for offsides by MSJ there, but he looked on to me. I agree. Uh, you know, I think there's too many complainers in, in soccer sometimes, and I think that's one of the times. That is one of the times. So Malovic calling for the foul. Won't get it. Looks like it's going to be a Gilman throw. Mihailovic going to give it up to Capadano. Capadano looking around. Going guys trying to get open. And puts it in, but not much of an opportunity presenting itself. Mihailovic right now. trying to drive, and he 
commits the foul in the corner. It'll be an MSJ free kick. So under five minutes now. Gilman looking to uh, hold on to this 2-0 lead going into halftime would be absolutely good. huge. Good vocabulary there, Dave. Sounds so much more sophisticated than zero. Absolutely. Kitchell. Yeah, wow. I'm well not, done. Had I'm to not a big soccer him. guy, but you know, they got some good words I like to use. Nil. That's that's great. What what is another soccer word you like to use? We can talk about them later. Uh -huh. you know, I'm just gonna sprinkle them in here and there. And it's booted away by Smith. Booted Again, by Gilman Smith. at the back just being very cautious, don't wanna, you know, try and get too cute with it and make a mistake. The Gales would throw in just over, so Smith to Ebo. Nice little one two there. Left for Mihailovic on his left foot. Now they cut back. Ooh. Nice little nice little leg kicks. You know? Fake out the defender. Capitano driving up the inside. Middle. Keeps going. Back to Ebo. Sent well out wide to Mihailovic for the open overlapping run crossed in by Mihailovic and that's going to be cleared away not enough juice on that one as it goes out of bounds for a Gilman throw so nearing the end of the first half here I got to imagine Coach Shields can be very happy with, with what he's seen so far yeah so if you're Bennett if you're uh, Coach Steele what do you tell the guys what do you want to see more of what, what do you like seeing here in this first half you know, I love how aggressive they're being with, with the runs and the balls over the top. It's really really forcing the issue, and uh, they've created some good chances out of it. Um, their, their defending has been has been solid. I would say they might need to clean up the, uh, the set pieces just a little bit, but um, other than that, I'm sure he'll be really pleased. Well said. Got to imagine the vibes are pretty high right now. You, you'd sure hope so. So Gales may be looking for one last push here. Two minutes remaining. You know, I gotta say, if they don't if they don't get one soon, they're gonna find themselves behind the eight ball. There's no handball called on Capitano. That was seemed pretty obvious to me. Oh, uh, no, it's an advantage was, was played. So. I, was, I was very confused on that one for a second. No, me, me too. Very late whistle. They're gonna send pretty much every man up for this one. That's interesting. It's MSJ again. Maybe a little desperate here. Just want to put something on the board for the end of the half. Headed away by Ebo, and they're going to call a foul. Mm, maybe I, a little bit know, of a push there. I'm not so sure know, if I, I agree with I, that I'm one. I'm thinking a little, maybe a little flop there. A little ticky tack. Very, yeah. very easy to just go down when when someone's breathing on your back. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I mean, this is this is a little dangerous. Guyton's got to watch out for the shot here, especially that, from the straight on sun, angle. That sun's still playing a factor here. Yeah, not as much coming goes. from this angle. Only one man in the wall, it seems, which is very interesting. And Guyton leaving the, the right side of his goal very open. If I were him, I would move over a little bit more. Yeah, has the shot, and it won't matter, actually. That was nowhere near. So under a minute left, 50 seconds to be exact. Yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised if uh, Marshall Smith is not on the hop to go grab this, yeah. this ball. Definitely taking his time. Yeah, good strategic play there. Yeah, I'd love just to see Guyton just kind of, just kind of boot it down. Yeah, he's just mosing, give a guy a chance for that a, ball up a to good six-yard line. Good little last-second goal, I think, could be exciting. Yeah, they, need, they only need about 15, 20 seconds on the clock. He's gonna go a little early. It's a short kick. So Guyton just past midfield. Fight in and the middle and foul on Gilman. It will be MSJ's ball. So the Gales with 15 seconds left. Yeah, moving. They're trying Hurrying to move up. quick. They're gonna send this one in. Flicked over to the box, just over. Box. And oh, they and the get Gales one back. Got one in with 6.3 seconds left. Not what you want to see board. going into halftime. Very frantic defending there. Not much Guyton could do. That's big. It's very, very tough to concede that close to halftime. Yeah, we'll definitely. It'll, it'll hamper the vibes. Yeah, it was real, Honestly. real close to being a nice, clean half for for Seal's side, but no can do. 6.3 seconds left. Not what you want to see. It'll be interesting to see if 
Someone takes a shot here somehow, or they just kind of yeah, let it roll out. Tough. Just yeah, just, just sent down. down, let the clock run out. And the horn signals the end of the first half. It is Gilman 2, MSJ 1 on Chanley Field.
welcome back to Chanley Field as the Hounds look to hold on to their 2-1 lead over the Gales today. Yeah, looking to close this one out for their uh, their first win of the season. So to recap that first half, Gilman put up two strong goals, and then uh, the Gales put one in with just six seconds left in the first. So be interesting brutal. to see how the uh, the momentum shifts with the, the Gales scoring so late in the first half. Uh, we'll see how Gilman comes out in response to that. So Bashir Abu stands at midfield, ready to take this. Looks like this one's going to go back to Mihailovic. Guyton getting ready, getting everything set. He's going to throw his water bottle by the, by the goal, and we'll be ready to go. Mihailovic, that one behind Maloney, and out early for an MSJ throw. Not the way you want to start. Just a little brutal here, but... So Gales had a little bit of trouble moving down switch. field earlier, and oh, a little cheeky little fake from Mihalovic goes through to Marshall Smith. See, that's another soccer word. I, it's another soccer word I like. Cheeky, cheeky. I mean, the, that was cheeky fake from Mihalovic. Oh, Gilman throw. Gales coach not happy about that call. Not happy about that call, and I, I can I can understand why. Thought that was going to be given to MSJ as, as Smith comes up for it. Sure, you see what they do with this one. Might might throw it down towards the corner. Smith surveying the field. Finds something he likes. Sent in toward Bashir and Chris Mitchell and maybe a makeup call there. I didn't I didn't see too much there. I don't really know what I'm that not is. Not sure what they called him for, but it'll be an MSJ free kick just inside their uh, their eighteen yard box. You know, this is something I've never understood. Maybe you know Bennett. Why do they roll the ball a little bit when they put it down? You know, I couldn't tell you, Dave. It's just um, like a little looks cool. It's just a, thing. it's just a, you know, it just looks cool. And sometimes you can get a few extra yards out of it. So I figured, like, subliminally move the ball. Yeah, but it's out for an MSJ throw. Gillen with a little bit of a slow start here in the second half. Need to yeah, pick up move the pace. A little, a little sluggish. Ray Dent gets that ball back to the MSJ player. Highlight of the game for him. So the throw towards the box. Over a couple of heads. Got and a handball. Hand oh, my MSJ. God. Uh, an egregious handball. A hand penalty. Ball. I thought that was on MSJ. Wow. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, that's not, not sure what they're looking at here. Uh, I mean, that's not what I, how I saw it. You know, I I I thought that was that was an MSJ hand in the air. I mean, I wish you could see the look of disgust on my face right now. We might. That is a situation where we need VAR. Yeah, I am absolutely. not fully convinced. It's, that it's time for that my double A to the fund referee. It. It's time for that my double A to fund. I'm not it. loving this call here, and they're going to call time to to talk it over. Uh, but as of right on. now, it's an MSJ penalty, well, and they'll how, have how a, do you even talk it over? Like they, they'll, they'll have a kick from replay, from 12 yards out to tie the game. VAR. We need some of that new tech. It's a short discussion. Uh, that that gets me riled up in the wrong and way. And that's a penalty. Wow. wow. Big wow. call here early wow. in the second half. Uh, and it'll be Guyton called upon to save the Hounds here. So Gales. This will, be, this will be two goals in rapid succession for MSJ and would completely turn the game on its head. Gales looking for the equalizer. Guyton looking for the big save. Got to try and got to stay big here. Take up as much of that goal as possible. Be interesting to see if uh, he'll try and get the tell on which way the, the kicker is going to go. Maybe look at his hips. So that's number 10, Jack Geis, here to take the kick. Slow run up. Trying to throw him off. And, and he misses! Puts it the top and it bounces out. It's cleared away, sort of. And it's a flop. Oh! oh referee! Oh my, oh my god. And see, John Seal has ripped his overshirt off in disgust. And thrown it towards the substitutes. Wow. wow. That is a bad call. Coach Seal, I feel the same, same way. Absolutely. I mean, not only is, me not only is that the right, is that the wrong call, wow. but completely robbing Gilman of an opportunity to break. On a breakaway, that's like five Gilman guys and maybe two Gales. I mean, just. 
Not, not, not happy with you that. You know, at I all. mentioned it earlier in the game. The referees throughout this year have been controversial, and I'm not loving what I've what I've seen today. Wow. Uh, gets me. You know what? That riles me up in the wrong way again. All right. I think. Yeah, we're we're heavy on the the route up counter. Wow. So Gilman building a little bit of a wall here. Not sure why. Maybe trying to stall a little bit. This looks to be a little too far to shoot. Ref talking over with the coach. He's not in agreement with the time, I suppose. You know, Dave, I'm still not over that call. That was really I mean, that could have I mean, com com completely changed the game, especially if, if MSJ manages to get one here. That would be a huge, so guy huge really, flip. Guy ain't really being put to the test here. Uh, I mean, these guys work cut out for him. Yeah, not dealing with the sun as much this time on the other end. So into the in. box and Guyton jumps. Guyton claims and he's wow. fouled. Oh my God, he's a beast. I big boy. He's, he's huge. You cannot knock him over. That's Guyton, the Notre Dame lacrosse commit. I'm showing you, he's a multi-sport athlete through and through. Just like Kitchell, the backbone of the defense. Kitchell the Maloney, you got Kitchell Maloney, Guyton. You got three lacrosse commits showing that and they sent can do to Mihailovic on the left side looking for a cross. Towards Bashir, keeper's son in his eyes, and he makes the claim. Good stuff there from Mihailovic. A little bit of issue with the clock, maybe. Because that clock didn't start until a few seconds ago. Headed down by Lawson. Yeah, so in their last matchup, the uh, the Hounds and the Gales tied. So Sent down to Gilman Bashir in the corner. That Bashir again. taking him by pace. And cleared away for a Gilman corner. This is much better from the Hounds. Much better. They're, they're settled into the half now. This is thrilling. This, I mean, looks like it's going to be Mihailovic. As Greenlee does not appear to be in the game. This will be an outswinger coming away from the goal. It's good language there. I told you, Dave. I'm I'm well versed in my soccer vocabulary. You certainly are. You know, I don't. I don't know if I like the left-footed play here. I think I'd rather much uh, have one have one swinging in and get this one crowded around the six-yard line. Coach still calls it. I agree with it. So. Oh, oh and, and Mitchell. Chris Mitchell with the free header got good contact, but could wow. not keep it down. Oh, yes. Dave, you know, you know who would have been great for that. No, I know exactly who would have been great. Number fifteen, Jacob, Jacob Davis. Davis. Yep. Wow. I mean, Mitchell has hops. That he, he got, got up. He got he up got for up. that one. Very, very impressive. Just couldn't manage to quite keep it on target. A short kick. Get an extra couple yards before sending it away. It's going to run through to Guyton. Does well. That short kick. That's. I mean, that's kind of weak sauce. To be honest, I think you should, you should go out there and just boot it. I agree. I agree. And Smith played back up. Broad bent. Mihailovic. Broad bent again. Good possession here from the Hounds. Mitchell, nice little move there. It's out of play for a, a Gilman throw. So Coach Smith got. with Lawson open behind him. Gonna look upfield though. Oh, and ref says he's got a ref back says that he's up. got a backup. I don't know about that one. Ref, ref seemed to have yeah, it out for us today. I don't want to say anything, but perhaps there was a monetary exchange during that half. I, you know, I don't want to suggest anything malicious, but <laughs> I did, I did see the referees walking in, and uh, you know, there may or may not have been someone. You never know. It's not my place. I'm not, I'm not loving these calls in this, uh, this second half so far. So like Smith, back at it. Taking his time, so he's going to send this one in. Goes to the box, looking look for Mihailovic, just over him, and goes through to the keeper. Gilman dropping back, doesn't want this one to go over their heads. Keeper's going to send that That's far, him. and Kitchell. Great header by Kitchell. Big play work of that. Man, he ate that ball alive. Absolutely. So, Gales. The throw in. You know, Bennett, what is a gale? I couldn't tell you, Dave. I really, I really have no idea. I don't know if it, if it's short for something or uh, 
it's like a crusader of some type. We might we might look into that. Maybe it's like a, a Don situation. You know, mm. the Royal of Dons. I think that's like a. I don't. I don't I think even it, know. I think a Don may be a type of dog. No. Really? No, I don't really don't think so. I think it has something to do with with somebody from Christian theology. That would that would make a lot of sense. Maybe a crusade. You know what? Uh, this is eating me alive. I'm I'm gonna Google this. I have to. What yeah, is way, way to do your research. So MSJ throw deep in Gilman territory. A Gael is a member of the Gaelic speaking peoples inhabiting Ireland, Scotland, and the Isle of Man. Interesting. I wonder that Very has to interesting. Do with, uh, Mount St. Joe's. Could be a religious tie there. This MSJ is going to send this one into the box. Headed away by Broadbent. And out for a Gilman throw. Well defended there. So Capadano here for the throw. I'm thinking about dinner right now, to be honest. Yeah, I'm, I'm still thinking Pretty about that, that quick way no, for yeah, lunch. Shout out to quick way. That was yeah, delicious. You, you were talking about that quick way. I, I mean, I'm feeling some chicken and rice. Yeah, the, the, cal the calories per sport. dollar there are, are, are fantastic as well. Absolutely. I mean, that's a lot of food for not a lot of money. Exactly. Chris Mitchell turns to the outside, looking for Smith. He's got Mihailovic. You know, I know you went to the corner. Went to Quick Way, but I want to give a shout out to Flick for that delicious lunch today. I mean, that chicken pot pie, that was a, a good biscuit, and a bread pudding. Yeah, delicious. We were talking about the uh, the strawberry kiwi water. It seems to have gotten a little little uh, more diluted. The, the machines are broken. I, I think they've had water to down, but I, what would I do without the kiwi watermelon? It's really it really a staple of kiwi of lunch. Sent in. A lot of chaos going on as it's cleared away by MSJ. I, think, I mean, I wish I had like a one and a handball. Of those that a kiwi kiwi free kick in the middle of the field. The kiwi, man, I'm just thinking about that. It's delicious. It's refreshing. You're always thinking about it. as it's taken quickly by Capadano and quite. sent back to the goalkeeper. Not sure if they could have called that a back pass. Didn't look deflected to me. Great header by Marshall Smith. Gets it out to Maloney. Takes him on. Sends it up to Bashir. Tries the one-two, but it's deflected and turned over. So Capadano just barely misses Capadano it. Capadano gets beat. Sent in. Ooh, and an opportunity be careful. to sell for the Gales. Gets Recovers a little bit, and Capadano's on him now, forcing him back. The cross is scuffed in and cleared away. Nicely that ball done there. Far for and headed. Gilman on the breakaway. Broadbent looking for some space. Not and quite. Loses, loses the foot race, but a good effort there from Broadbent. Mihalovic just barely can't stop it. Gales dancing around. Finding some possession now. Yeah, definitely finding their rhythm a lot more here in the second yeah, half. Yeah, Gilman looks a little bit spread out now. We come up on get the, the ten minute mark of this second half and the Gales have looked really well put together. Clearly yeah, that Gilman coach Gilman's gotta tighten it up. Sense. There's too much there's too much space in the middle of the field. Looks like they're gonna go be forced back there, broadband in pursuit, all the way back to the goalie. And he sends it out wide. Played upfield. Capadano's on him, and it's out for a Gilman throw. 30 minutes left in this game. Hounds still looking to pick up their first in-conference win. As I believe that's Colin Kelly and Grayson Greenlee coming on. For what looks to be Broadbent and Maloney. So Broadbent and Maloney, both guys who are definitely good shifts to start the there. second yep. half. Yep. That out for the Gales. And just chips off the, uh, the shoe there. Sent down towards Bashir, but it's collected by the goalie. A little close there. But the goalie collects. So booted high and far. And Left Kitchell. Bounce. Kitchell with the header up in the air. Broadbent and Greenlee. Maybe a little bit of communication there. 
needed. Greenlee defending a 1-2, but cleared away by Gilman. Very, very nicely done. Here's Broadbent looking to clear it. Greenlee. And that's off the Gale defender. So Gilman with a possible opportunity. Into Bashir. And Gales take it back. Greenlee gets it back. Kicks it over the middle, but no hound in sight. And it goes up the near side. Shield out of play by Marshall Smith. Dave, what do you have uh what do you have on your schedule for this weekend? What are you this looking weekend? forward to? You know, unfortunately I actually have an SAT. Saturday morning, but thankfully Saturday afternoon or evening to be determined, I'll be at the Orioles game. Let's go O's. Let's go O's. I'll be at the game on Sunday. You know it's going to be an electric atmosphere. I'll be there Sunday too. I'll see you there then. Absolutely. I mean, I'm, I just can't wait. Game Yards is going to be rocking. It's going to be rocking. Rocking. I may need to buy an Orioles shirt. I do not have one in my possession. Definitely currently. time. Definitely time. Always this time. And Mihailovic gets through, tries to cut back, gets it to Broadbent. At finds Mitchell. Broadbent with man behind. Sent out wide to Capadano. Greenlee on his right. So Hounds can't quite capitalize there. And a one two. But still another chance. Looks like Capadano for the cross. Sends it inside to Greenlee. Turns. Scoops it in. Oh. And headed just out of the reach of Mihailovic. Sent back to Smith. Smith to Mihalovic. Deflected looks down like that the was corner. A close to the Gales player, and that's going to be a throw in. Yeoman for the throw hell. deep in their territory. Smith looking out. He's thinking about it. A lot of players there in the box. Watch a broad bend in the back. And clearly headed away. No contest. Picked up by Capadano. Crosses it to the middle. Headed away. away. And the shot is blocked again. Marshall Smith looking to get it back into play. Maybe a handball there. Picked up by Broen. Back out to Mihailovic. Going to look to cross this one in. First time. Found by Capadano again. He's been busy in this sequence. And it's finally kicked out for a Gilman throw. There goes Smith once again for the throw in. Marshall Smith looking to send this one into the box. Aiming for <laughs> Greenlee, and then uh, looks like we've got Broadbent in there as well as Chris Mitchell. Out to Broadbent. Happy to see Gilman Legend Dano out here today supporting. Always supporting. He, ble he bleeds Gilman. Yeah, I mean. If, he if you're Baltimore. looking for a guy who bleeds, bleeds uh, blue and gray, I mean, that's him. He's, he's the epitome of it. Bleeds orange and black as well in support of our, our favorite Baltimore Orioles. So that ball out of bounds. Going to be a throw in for the Gales here. <laughs> Back to the Gales. 25 minutes left. Haven't hasn't been much uh, much action. Danos has send it up, and I, I couldn't agree I more. Couldn't agree more. Clearly, Broadbent does too as he clears that. Sent out to Mahalovic. He's been active as well. Good to see from him. Maybe looking for Greenlee on the far side, but he doesn't see it. Mahalovic, shifty, shifty. Yeah, might need to work on that right foot. He's a little weak in that department. As Capadano pings it across. Broadbent oh, with wow. the touch. Almost a very Behind classy the control back there. Touch. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Mihailovic with a little slip there, and it's sent back to Kitchell and cleared away. Here's Kelly looking for something.
finds Lawson in the back. Back to Mihalovic. Finds Broadbent. A little Broadbent push there. The wow. And, wow. I that's do not, not like going, that. You're telling me that's not out of bounds? They're Are you allowed, kidding? I mean, I'm allowed right here. the substitution. When Gilman wanted to take a quick throw, I don't agree with that. Broadbent was ready to get the ball back in play, but the ref halted play and and uh, substitutions will be made. Uh, I Big know. momentum stopper there. I know. I mean, the hounds are moving. Got to let the kids play. Don't like that. Don't like that. So in comes for the first time today, Isaac Chun, the junior, number eight. It's thrown over the top to Mihailovic, looking for a cross on his left. And not... What? Oh, wow. I mean, I mean, are you kidding me? Yeah, Dando not happy with that one either. I, I completely agree. I, mean, I, I don't know. This, I don't know. This what the second seen. half has just wow. Yeah. I mean, where, 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 where what's he even doing? He's Referee. All He's tugging Referee. on his jersey. I mean, a little tug never killed nobody. That's come on. Out for a Gilman throw. Ball don't lie. Told him. Smith decides against the quick throw and then lifts it up. Mihailovic again, been very active in the second half. As he gets. And they'll call that ball. Gilman ball. Gets pushed out. MSJ throw. And not called Gilman ball. Coach is not happy. I do think the refs did get that one right. I had a good view at it. Yeah. That's a handball. Oh, and Marco goes down. Dano calling for a handball. I wholeheartedly support. Refs having another discussion here. Not sure whether they're talking about the foul or a handball. Looks to be. It looks like they're going to give a Gilman free kick. kick. Great call there. Yeah. Like Refs. Got to wait for the whistle. As Kitchell comes trotting. It looks like kids gonna be Kitchell to take this one, maybe. And really get some guys up. So Mark Joe will coach will not happy there. Trying to say he touched the ball and that it was live. It's headed away. Picked up by Broadbent. Sent back in. Headed out the other way. There's Broadbent to Bashir. Looking for Bashir. And Not that's going to go into the hands of the keeper. Big punt. Kitchell there for the header. Ooh, over the back. Sent out wide. Still still going, and it's finally cleared away. Controlled by Bashir. Looking to maybe sprint down the sidelines. Uses pace, and it's out for a Gilman throw. Good run there by Bashir. By Bashir. Pushed the ball deep into MSJ territory. Looks like Smith will go over to take that one, maybe get that one in the box as well. So Smith picks it up. Looking around. Finds something he likes in the box. Looking for Greenlee just, just over, over his head. Out Capadano. to Capadano. Back out to Smith. Too far. Goes out of bounds for an MSJ throw. Gales get that bat get get the ball back. Sent out wide. Gilman applying pressure, trying to pin them deep in their own half, and they turn it over. Maloney to Broadbent. Be out for a Gilman throw. Well won there. So 
Joseph Smith with another throw in. Under the 20 minute mark now. This would, this would be a good time to pick another one up, Dave. To Lawson, towards the corner to Smith. Crosses in a low cross, it's gonna go all the way to the keeper. MSJ keeper calling for everyone to push up. Kitchell wins the header. Cleared way away. Looking for Bashir, but that ball's gonna run out of play. Good idea, just a little too far. Coach Seal calling for some adjustments to be, to be made as they look to close this one out. Seem to be calling for Greyhound, not sure what that is. MSJ playing it around the back. Not making too much progress here, maybe looking for a, a hole in the Gilman defense, but doesn't look like they're going to give one to him. Trying to push it out wide. Finally making some progress up the right side. Good one two there. And he trips over the ball. Calling for a foul. I agree with the no call there. As intercepted by Capadano, sent towards Bashir, and Bashir is clear through. Bashir with Bashir, the shot. Bashir, oh, save. Ball still in play. I'm not sure what the call is there. They're going to say it's a goal kick. Wow. Great opportunity to extend the lead there. Great run from Bashir, just couldn't finish. Good stuff from the Hounds. Great, great turnover caused by Capadano, with, and immediately. Sends that ball up the right side to Bashir. Might be calling a foul. Yeah, looks like they're gonna call a foul. Great save from the MSJ keeper. Gonna play it short. You know, Dave, I was really ready to just put the mic away and let that goal rip. Seriously, I'm, I'm itching. It's been 20, 23 minutes and some change. Fantastic math. Thank you. That's why you're in, what are you, A, B or B, C? Uh, AB, but I'm failing, so uh, might want to get on that. Played across the field. So Capadano defends. Good slide oh, tackle by Broadbent. All ball there. Sends to the other Broadbent, picked up by Capadano. Capadano makes a move. It's turned missed, over. But unfortunate there. Unlucky. Smith with some excellent defense. And Smith with wow. the tackle. Well done. That'll be a Gilman throw. Substitution comes on. Looks like it'll be Chris Mitchell and I believe Lucas Kelly coming in for Broadbent and Greenlee. You know, Dave, I think we've done a good job so far. Really, really covered this game well. I think we've done the best job we could. Smith with the long throw. Gales moving up now. And Maloney Michael Maloney gets in there, pokes the ball, and still not away, but MSJ regained possession. Good hustle there from Maloney. That was a bit of an overreaction from the MSJ bench. That was, you know, just a simple little move there. Not sure it deserved the, the yeah, big I mean, ooh. That's not a that's not an ooh moment. I, that's good I defense from Maloney. Well done there. Gilman doing a good job of of uh, keeping MSJ in their own half. Great, great stuff from Bashir. They're gonna call a foul on him. I'm not sure where that's I coming mean, from. from. What? Like where? I'm not sure where that's coming what, from. One but foul. It'll be a an MSJ free kick. There appears to be a pair of shin guards. Just kind of on the field. Like Not sure the, uh, who's, the Gale who's those players. are. 
its left shin guard out oh, there. There's both of them. Uh, wanna, both shin guards. Wow. I want to fix that. Down to the near side with some space. Well defended by Maloney out for an MSJ throw. Oh. And right. Dillman free kick. Oh, beauty. Good stuff there. Much, much, much appreciated. You know, Dave, it's starting to get to that time of year where the weather's just really, really nice all the time. It is truly perfect out right now. I mean, it's not too hot, not too cold. Mid just right. No breeze. The sun's coming down. I mean, it doesn't get more picturesque than this. Can't ask for a better Tuesday afternoon. Absolutely. Played out wide. Just over 13 minutes left. Hound still looking to hold on. No goals yet in this second half. Really hoping they give me a chance to shout goal one more time. Broadbent comes on, and out goes Bashir Abu. So the Gales waiting their throw in. Capdown jumps, but the ball Which falls. May have been may have been a handball and kept down of there, but ref says play on. Looks to be deflected out for an MSJ corner. This will be a real test for the Gilman defense here. Yep, so the sun setting makes it a uh, makes it a non factor here really for Guyton. Yeah, looking the other way as well. So just mano y mano. Marshall Smith on the front post, Grayson Capadano on the back post. Gonna have to really do a good job of marking up here that MSJ sends a guy to get on the keeper. That's weak corner out to the edge of the area. Sent back in. Drops. And the shot is blocked and then cleared away. Scary moment for the Gilman team. Yeah, definitely, but but well defended. Big sure. block from the defense. Cleared well away. Broadbent racing and Smith. It's a whiff. I don't know if I like that call. Mm. I don't love it. I'll tell you that. Out for an MSJ throw. You know, Dave, I, I would say uh, that we've been a little harsh on the refs, but I stand by what I've said. You know, I'm sh I'm just not very happy with them. You know, it just flicked oh. on and a save oh, by Guyton. George Guyton uses that large frame to smother the ball. Wow. Very, very well done, and almost gets almost a round of applause slipped, from the from the parents. Hands. Oh, terrifying moment. Two uh, two scary moments for Gilman in the past couple minutes. As Guyton sends that one towards Maloney, brought down but not controlled. MSJ starting to really find some attacking play, and that ball looked like it was out of bounds. Looking, looking to switch the play here. Robin playing some ferocious defense here. He's hustling. Coming down to the 10 minute remaining mark. Still 2 to 1. Switch the play. Maloney deflects yeah, it. Hot pursuit. Oh. Broadbent almost forces a turnover. And out for a Gilman throw. That's huge as we surpass the, the 10 minute mark. Um, just under 10 minutes left to play. Need another strong, uh, strong couple shifts from the Hounds to see this one. Out. Maybe get another goal just for security. 
So Smith with the throw. Headed by Gale. You know, Gilman seems a little tired here. Maybe they need to put in some fresh legs. And they call that a flop. Play on. Sent over the top towards Broadbent. It's going to be too far. So a quick toss here from the goalie. Yeah. You know, I thought the ref was going to give that one. I was a little surprised to see the, the I, play be waved with on. The calls from tonight, I I uh, have to agree with you, but ref flips away the by Kitchell flips the script. And Maloney tried to send it forward, but sent out of bounds. Sent all the way back to the keeper. Maloney back for some defense. Little Ball gets by. Gale's found a little space in the middle. Lawson defending hard. Picked up by Mihailovic. Looking for room to run. No one really in front of him. He tries to make some space to the outside, but loses the ball. And then it commits a foul. Challenge from behind. And it'll be a free kick for the Gales. Not sure if I love that. Um, for Marco, maybe should have waited for, for some support to push yeah. up the field. Definitely got a little aggressive there, and uh, the Gales make him pay for it. Free kick, see if they can get this one in the box. A lot of guys sitting at the top of that 18 yard box. And that's where he's going. Sent well in, look. It. Guyton with the punch, well done. Got two good fists on it. So, out of play for an MSJ throw. Clock is ticking. Gilman just needs to see out about seven and a half more minutes, and then they'll pick up their first win. Don't want to jinx anything, but, you know, not too much time left. Throw in there to the corner. Headed of the away. Box. Picked up by Broadbent. No support yet again. It looks like a one on five here. We'll see what he can do. Broadbent pushes it down to the corner. It. It looks. You know, maybe like he was trying to take a, a long lob shot, but most of Gilman staying back. Don't want to get caught on the break. As MSJ pushes it out wide. Both forward. Looks like Kitchell's got that one. Kitchell gets that to Kelly. Booted upfield yet again. Looking for Broadbent. Up in the air. Controlled by MSJ. Goes Capadano. Kelly up to Broadbent. You know, Gilman just being very deliberate when they have the ball. Tick the clock off. Yep, definitely not getting too aggressive. You know, taking their time with it. And uh, defense, not not being too pushy, but you know, making sure that MSJ is gonna, gonna have to play the ball. ball there. No foul called. Advantage Come played. Looking for over the top to Mihailovic. Um, he's got some space. Looks like he's just going to kind of run down to the corner, maybe shield it, take a little bit of time. Off. He passes it back out to Maloney. Sent back down to Mihailovic, who believed he was offside. Be an MSJ throw. Encouraging, but, you know, would have hoped to see Gilman either uh, take a better shot there or, or take some more time off the clock on that one. Never, never went in. Interesting one there. So in comes Grayson Greenlee and I believe that's Colin Kelly. Colin Kelly. Thank you. Out comes Isaac Chun and uh, Broadbent. Not, not sure what's going on here. Might be might be a Gilman throw. Is that a, is that how it works? The ball never came in. That's I guess that's a Gilman be. throw. They're gonna stop the, looks like they're going to stop the clock. Talk it over. Ah, just don't want Smith to, to go on a time-wasting parade. I do. The ref doesn't. As it's sent down into the corner. Good control. Back to Smith. Cuts inside. Cuts back outside. Keeping control, but Ooh. it's tackled. Greenlee giving chase. 
trying to push the, push the issue and uh, MSJ get it out to the out to the left side, pushing forward, looking to see if they can do something with it. So under five minutes now. And it's turned over. Colin Kelly. Oh, she can't hold on the touch and and it gives behind, the ball away. I think the referee determined he would have lost the ball regardless of the foul or not. Cleared away by Marshall and taken by Maloney. Well done there. Excellent clear from Maloney. Kelly pushing up, got some fresh legs, causing problems. Push it up to the middle of the field again. They're going to force another switch. Gilman beating back the MSJ attack. As we have uh, three minutes and 45 seconds left here in the game. Gilman seemingly doing a good job of trying to see this one out as that one's cleared away by Smith but right back to an MSJ player I think they need some possession just give them some time to you know to calm down it's, it's another MSJ throw taken quickly sent down towards the corner Mahalovic looking for the clear and that's out of bounds for an MSJ throw time still ticking looks like they're gonna go for a long throw here Players head to the box. Everyone back for Gilman, barring uh, Colin Kelly. Looking to maybe be that outlet man in case of a break. He's thrown in. The ball short. That Guy will lets be it go. out for a goal kick. Very well done. Much needed. Little reprieve for the Hounds. Guyton taking his sweet time. As he should. As he should. Calls for the sub and for the clock to be stopped. So on comes Nadum Ebo and Bashir Abu. Definitely adding some speed to this uh, this team. Maybe Coach Seal looking to just put in that Gale half and, and hold it there for the next 2 minutes and 47 seconds. It's a good strategy. No need to do anything crazy here. Just you know, keep the ball in front of you and uh, don't let any big holes form. The ball back to the Gales. And put some space in the clear. There goes Bashir Abu. Bashir. Keeper's out. Keeper way out. Keeper. Hope he doesn't make a mistake. And Abu almost with some space. With and Bashir oh, wow. Is foul. Oh, wow. Big. big well hit. done by Bashir there. They're going to call for the clock to stop. I don't know if I agree with I, that. I mean, come on. I'm Gale's not quite fouling. Sure on the, you stop the clock. I'm not, I'm not quite sure on the uh, the clock stoppage rules, so I could yellow, be completely Yellow wrong. card issued there. Uh, it is a yellow yeah. card, so we will have to come off. Pretty sure how that works. Gilman not getting too aggressive for sure. Keeping Kitchell back is the, the smart move. Absolutely. No need to have your big, your biggest and best defender up in the box on a free kick like this. Only three guys up there. It's just Bashir, Evo. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see if they if they take a shot here or play this one short and, and try and run out some more clock. Yeah, I, mean, I like I like the the second option, but yeah, Seal sending Ebo back. It's gonna send it into the corner. Mitchell just, or, I'm sorry, Bashir. Bashir just trying to waste surrounded time. by white shirts. MSJ get it out, but it's going to be a Gilman throw. That's big. Gilman is going to take their sweet time here. And some miscommunication about who's going to throw it in. Looks like it's going to be Greenlee. 156 on the clock. Gilman looking, looking to close this one out. Here in the corner, he Again. gets in. Shields Same thing it well. As last time. Surrounded by white shirts. Picks uh, up the Bashir ball. Holds on to it. Maybe looking to draw a foul. Gales get it back. Cleared out, but only as far as Nadu Ebo. Sent back into the corner, but he cannot find cannot find Bashir. So just over a minute and a half left. MSJ will make their substitution. Time winding down for the Gales. Like they only have one or two opportunities left, but 
clearly that hasn't stopped them this game. Their sole goal being scored with just six seconds left in the first half. So that would be a they, real they heartbreaker. Prove they can, uh, they can do it in crunch time. Again. Headed away by Smith. Broadbent looking for it. Kelly. And booted away by Greenlee. Greenlee, it's a beautiful clear. As we get under the minute mark, time winding down for the Gales if they're going to make something happen. Broadbent is going to go out for an MSJ throw. A little bit of life for the Gales. 50 seconds remaining. They're, they're hurrying. They're trying to get this one, get this into the box, see if they can make something happen. So the throw goes to the box. Short. Headed Broadbent away by Broadbent. Away. Great header. Right back out of bounds. Time is ticking. 30 seconds remaining they throw, now. They throw this one short. Kelly in pursuit. Looking to get a cross in. Weak cross out to the top of the box. Falls. In the box. Head away by Lawson. Kitchell defending. The shot Ball is blocked. Ball bounces around. Ebo kicks Ebo it up. with clear. And that ball is well out of play. So and that could and that could do it. Gale's trying to get a ball in quickly. Six seconds remaining. Five point five seconds remaining. The they stop the clock. For the five point five remaining. And all Gilman has to do. So Gilman just can't allow one final one stand. Better. And they will pick up their first win. Definitely just looking to get Send it away. In. That's headed away. Headed away. It's going to go a goal the kick, so. and that is the game. Your Gilman Greyhounds pick up their first win of the season in conference with the great showing against MSJ. I'd like to thank you, Bennett, for com for calling with me. Oh, thank always you to a pleasure, our Dave. Lovely cameraman, Ben Gilner. And uh, thank you to all of you at home who tuned into Greyhound TV. And all of you who are watching this after the game. We would like to let you know that our next stream will be Monday, October 9th. That will be volleyball. Uh, can't wait to see you then. Have a good one.